Gentlemen, and thank you so much for chilling with me as we go ahead and take a look into Boy Meets World. This is season number two, episode number two called Pairing Off. So in the first episode, ladies and gentlemen, the first episode back, uh, we were just pretty much dealing with Corey, Sean, going to a new school. They were going to high school. Uh, we got introduced to a few new characters. We got introduced to um, uh, a new teacher, a new teacher. I believe his name was Mr. Turner. Uh, we also got to see that Mr. Feeney is actually the principal of the high school. And I also believe he mentioned that he's Corey's history teacher as well. So that's pretty funny if you were to ask me. Uh, there was a character that they brought in that looked like they're going to replace Minkus with this character. I may be wrong. It was just based off how I seen uh, the last episode. Uh, the way that they presented this other character, he looks like he would be possibly the new Minkus, but we'll see if they even bring him on for the next few episodes to come. Uh, but yeah, that's just about it. You know, the kids, Corey, Sean, they were starting high school. They were very excited. They were very nervous. They were dealing with a lot of emotions. You know, this is a new school. It's a lot more students. So of course they were feeling everything that they were feeling in the last episode. So that was pretty much the last uh, episode. Uh, going into this next one, uh, pairing off... Maybe it's like a class project or something. Maybe Corey gets paired up with somebody. That's my best guess. Honestly, I have no idea uh, based off what the title says here. But we're going to go in there, jump into this next episode, and have some fun, ladies and gentlemen. So this is Boy Meets World. If you are a fan, feel free to leave that like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on our Patreon for some early and unedited episodes. Anyways, let's jump in there. Let's have some fun and take a look into Boy Meets World. Here we go. Okay, Corey. Okay. Dream, Mr. <laughs> I, that was not what I was expecting to hear him say. How? Jerry and Shoshana? Deeply. <laughs> oh, stop being so young. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's not a good thing. How old are you? 24. <laughs> no, sorry. I was looking for what are the ovaries. Oh, the oh, yeah, I always mix those two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Why not? The future will be brighter. Oh. Can you tell us anything about ovulation or how? Since when? Just now. That was it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you saw it happen. I can't believe it. I saw it happen, and I still don't know how it happens. Right. Stop obsessing, man. You're gonna pop what? This. Hi, Sean. Oh. <laughs> oh, from across the hall. Yeah. That is, get out of here. <laughs> what, you just jerked without conditioner. Man, I wish I had that hair growing up. <laughs> I'm just like Corey. No, I thought you had head lice. Oh. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, I'm great. I need new hair. I feel the same way, buddy. I feel the same exact way. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get started, why don't we take a break? Can I get you something to drink? I have it upstairs, but I made him put it in because I knew you were coming. This <laughs> girl, I mean, I thought they were just there. I didn't know they were interactive. Get out. Yo, yeah, yo, oh my goodness. <laughs> I swear to God, man. I'll build a wife. Corey, we're studying. Oh my. Dude, in your parents' room, Eric. Don't go, Rebecca. Sorry, I really don't feel like being here anymore. I have nothing! <laughs> you, my boy, were in mom and dad's bed. Yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What was that? The sound of power suddenly? Oh, you're wasting my time. I have you. Now, ordinarily, I wouldn't reveal my <laughs> I know I can count on my favorite little brother to keep a secret. I'm <laughs> okay, you got eyes? Yeah. Use them. How? Well, well geez, Corey. <laughs> Isn't that right, man? See you then. Way to go, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> Risque. Risque, what do you mean? Like... Flannel off the shoulder, kind of. Just welded on. <laughs> I'm really stressed. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to relieve that stress. Accusing you. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> having an affair. 
Oh, you think I'm safe? You think say happy birthday, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened between me and Rebecca, if that's what you're thinking. And you bear no responsibility? <laughs> well, clearly I should have locked the door. And Eric, you <laughs> point, Dad. I should have controlled myself, but nothing happened. Yo, Eric is on fire right now, yo. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm re So what? What do you want to talk about? Well, what's your name, for, for starters? Um, do you know my name? Right, what's her name? Uh... Oh, we you know what? That's cool. Because he, he was wondering how to say hi to a girl. So that's fine. I'm cool with him saying it like that. A lot of homework? Yeah. Said, yeah, I would. Cool. So that's good. Core? Yeah. So how did you nod? I mean, was it like this? Or? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That looked like they were... Uh, that looked like they were breaking character at the end of that uh, little moment right there. But anyways, that was our episode for today. Season number two episode. Number two of Boy Meets World pairing off. So going into this, you guys, I honestly thought that we were probably going to get involved with like a school project or something, you know, pairing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't think that this was talking about, you know... A possible relationship for Corey or a possible relationship for Sean or anything like that. I totally was not thinking that, but high school is kind of like that. You know what I mean? High school is definitely like that. You know, I definitely do remember having moments of, you know, well, no, I can't say that to be honest with you guys. I'm not trying to sit here and say I was a player player, but I was pretty okay in high school. I think for most part, I think I was pretty all right. But anyways, uh, yeah, so we were just seeing Corey just, you know, asking the question that probably most freshmen are probably asking when they're into girls or if they're into guys, just w wanting to know how to talk, how to communicate without sounding foolish or without embarrassing yourself or anything like that. Uh, this episode was awesome. As you guys seen from my reaction, I was like almost in tears throughout most of this episode. To me, the stuff that Sean was doing was funny. Come on, man. Are you telling me that's all it takes is to have good hair and flip it like that? Like, come on, man. If I could do that, if I could have hair like that and that would happen, man, high school would have been so fun. <laughs> Seriously, yo. Like, to me, the best one had to be when he was at Corey's house. When he opens the door, he's like, oh, I got a 30-foot range. And when he said that, I'm like, what is he talking about? When he's like, I got a 30-foot range. He opens the door and out of nowhere, you guys could probably hear from a distance. You hear like a girl like, Sean, watch, I'm going to play it for you guys. Tell me if you hear it. <laughs> Look how bad Corey is. <laughs> He's like, get the, get the hell out of my house. <laughs> get out of here. How do you just open the door? And then, is that you, Sean? Like, come on, man. That was so funny to me. Uh, that happened multiple times in this episode with Sean. It happened to Topanga as well. Uh, that was funny. You know, one thing that I do like about the character, Corey, is that when I was, like, in high school, which is about almost 10 years ago now, um... I definitely had, is phobia the word? I don't, I'm not sure if phobia is the word that I'm thinking of, but I definitely had that same thought press, process like Corey does with the whole hair stuff. If you guys could take a quick look on your screen, you guys could see how Corey hair is. Look at my hair. My hair is pretty shit. You know what I mean? So when Corey was like, you know, talking about his hair in the first season, talking about his hair in this episode, that was me all day, ladies and gentlemen. I used to always be like, man, I wish my hair was just a little bit softer. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got a Brillo pad up here. <laughs> and um, it was just so funny. I, I thought it was funny when Corey mentioned to Sean, like, hey, the difference is your hair moves. Mine's doesn't. Yeah, I feel I feel your pain, Corey. <laughs> I clearly feel your pain. I just thought it was so funny, so hilarious. Uh, of course, Eric is doing what Eric always does. He's, he's, he's all about the girls. Um, um, I didn't quite think it was going to get as far as it did between uh, Eric and Rebecca. I mean, thankfully, it didn't go any further than that because he ended up on his parents' bed. That would have been terrible. You know what I mean? That could have been really, really bad. So thank goodness Corey walked in there uh, to stop the madness from happening. Um, but anyways, that's the episode. You know, Corey's still trying to figure out how high school works for most part. Uh, and, and yeah, that's just about it, to be honest with you guys. So I had a great time watching this. I hope, of course, you guys had a great time as well. Feel free. Leave that like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you on the next episode of Boy Meets World. Take care, you guys.